Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well. So today's problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform is maximum tripler product. So we'll be discussing about this problem in this video. Well, before proceeding further, make sure to subscribe my channel if you haven't done so, and make sure to join our Telegram group as well. The link for the Telegram group is given in the description itself. So do join. So the problem says given an array ARR of size n, we have to find the maximum triplet product in the array. Okay, so let's understand the same with the help of an example. Here we do have n equal to 4, that is the size of the array, and the array contains 1, 2, 3, 5. Now, what we have to determine? We have to determine the maximum triplet product. Okay, so here if we are taking 5, 3, 2, so these are the triplets if we are taking, then the product is 30, which is the maximum possible triplet product in the array. So, hence we are getting the output as 30. Next example, let's have a look on that as well. So here we are having n equal to 7 and the array contains minus 3, minus 5, 1, 0, 8, 3, minus 2. So the output uh, here we are getting is 120, right? So see, if we are taking the triplets minus 3, minus 5 and 8 and we are multiplying, so we are getting 120 which is the maximum possible triplet product in the array. Now what we have to do is we have to complete the function max triplet product which takes an integer n and an array ARR and returns the maximum triplet product in the array. Okay, so I hope you are clear with the problem statement, right? Even we discussed the examples as well. So I think the problem statement should be clear. Now comes like uh, the approach part, right? So how we'll be solving this problem? One way to do is like the brute force way, uh, brute force approach that we can use to solve this problem is like uh, running three uh, nested loops okay and uh, every time like we'll be calculating the like we can have a variable we'll be calculating the product and uh, we'll be uh, keep on updating the maximum product because that's what we need this is one way of doing this but again uh, if, we'll be, if you'll be talking about the time complexity for this approach the brute force approach that will be like here we'll be having three uh, nested loops three loops right so it would be big o of nq can't we do something better than this? If you will see here, right? So just think about it, like how it's it's all about getting the it's all about getting the maximum triplet product. So how we can do so? So if this is the array given, all the elements here are positive only. So obviously, if you will take what, uh, if you if you will take the maximum elements. So uh, this array is already sorted here, right? So here, uh, see, I if I will take five, three, and two right uh, the multiplication of these triplets is obviously going to give me the maximum possible product right maximum possible triple product right now here if we are having a look on this array right so here uh, it's not sorted if we will sort this if we will sort this right so first negative will come then zero and then the positive part right now in negative also see negative multiplied by negative will give us will give us a positive value so here uh, if you will take from the end right if you will take from the end uh see here what they have done here they have done minus three and minus five so another scenario and the possibility is what first possibility we discuss in this way and another possibility is what uh, that we are choosing the first two elements first two elements are going to be what the minimum element minimum element so here what are the minimum elements minus five and minus three if you will sort this array they will come first right minus five minus three they will come first right and now uh, okay now you must be saying okay so let's take now let's take three elements from the starting right why they have taken eight now just think about it the next one could be a negative also right here if you will take so uh, positive positive got cancelled but again negative here multiplying you'll be getting a negative value which is which is not going to be the uh, maximum uh, like this is not going to help us to get a maximum triple product also it could be any value which is smaller even though if it's not negative two so first two will be taken from the starting part right and the last one will be the maximum value so what is the maximum value if you will sort this array at the end we'll be getting the maximum value which is nothing but eight so first two value and the maximum value if you will multiply it we'll get 120 so two possibility either we'll be taking all the three from the end right or first two from the starting and the last maximum value so for this the thing is what our array should be sorted so if you are sorting the array right uh, and going with a good uh, sorting algorithm then 
what would be the time complexity it would be big of n log n right but here if you will uh, see right here if you will come so here they have mentioned time complexity big of n right so it means uh, there could be one another approach that we can think of and uh, we can uh, some somewhat uh, work on the time complexity right so other thing is what we can do see all we are caring about is getting the see first scenario is getting the top three uh, values right top three value maximum one maximum two maximum three right uh, here that is nothing but five three two okay or or maximum value we need maximum value we need in this scenario also the second scenario also but here along with that we need the minimum values minimum value one minimum value two right so for first scenario the multiplication of max one max two max three for second scenario multiplication of min one min two and the maximum value that we can say is max max one okay so that's what it is now can't we can't we take one single loop and there itself we can determine these values we can do it right we can do it okay so now by using a single loop itself we'll be calculating these values we'll be uh, we'll be determining these values and uh, we'll be returning whatever uh, whichever possibility gives us the maximum product right so i hope you got the approaches right you got the approaches so we'll be having a look on the code now so here if you will see right so first is like sorting the array first step uh, the second approach that we discuss right after just after brute force approach so first sort the array and then we can return the maximum of the multiplication of what either we are taking uh, the elements from the last last three elements so n minus one n minus two n minus three or top two is starting two elements and the last maximum value multiplication of uh, top two starting element and the last uh, value right okay so this will give like if you will go with this approach so we'll be having the time complexity big of n log n now the next was like with the linear time complexity so we need minimum one minimum two max one max two max three right so we'll be for minimum a um, I min mean one min two we are initializing with this with long dot max value and this with the long dot min value now we are having the for loop so maximum max one will be having what it will be having the maximum value maximum value okay then max two will be having the second maximum max three will be having the third maximum likewise minimum the minimum value min one will be having the minimum value and then min two will be having the second minimum value okay so here if, uh, we are simply checking if the ith element on which we are if it is greater than that of max one right so what we are doing is if that is the uh, uh, if that is the case so first we are um, updating the values right so what we are doing is whatever value was there in max 2 we are putting this to max 3 right and the value that was there in max max 1 that we are putting as max two. because see max 1 is the maximum value so if there is some value that we have come across which is greater than that of max 1 so what does it means that yeah there is some other value which is maximum in the array okay it means whatever value till now we were having in the max 1 this could this will be our second maximum value now right and whatever we had in the max 2 this will be a third maximum value so that's what uh, we are here updating that max 2 value uh, we are uh, uh, providing this to max 3 and max 1 value we are providing this to max 2 and max 1 value we are updating with arr of i if this is not a condition right else if else if we came across uh, an element which is not greater than that of max 1 but it is greater than that of max 2 okay so what we are doing is whatever value was there in max 2 we are putting this to max 3 okay it become it became the third maximum uh, value you now and we are updating the value of max 2 as arr of i and even if that is a scenario if even if that is not a scenario so there could be possibility the scenario is the ith element that we have came across it is not even greater than that of max 1 not even max 2 but it is greater than that of max 3 so simply we are updating the value of max 3 right so that's how we can um, you know determine the value of max 1 max 2 max 3 now the next case comes to determine the value of min 1 and min 2 so what we are doing here is that we came across an element which is less than that of the value that we had in the min 1 so what we are doing is uh, first we'll update the value for min 2 so in min 2 we'll be providing the value of 
min 1 okay and then we will be updating the value of min 1 as arr of i now you will be asking okay okay this is very obvious right but still i would like to mention here so first what we are doing is first we are providing the value that was stored there in min 1 to min 2 because if you will do this thing first right so obviously you will lose the previous value that that was there in min 1 right so that's why first we are uh, putting the value of min 1 to min 2 and then we are updating the value of min 1 as arr of i else if the possibility can be that arr of i is not less than min 1 but it is less than min 2 so we are updating the value of min 2 here as min 2 equal to arr of i okay so now we have all the required values right so what we are doing is we are simply returning the mat dot max multiplication of min 1 min 2 and max 1 uh, or the next possibility was what max 1 multiplication of max 1 max 2 max 3 right so i hope you are clear with the code part approach part i hope uh, everything was clear even i have provided a code in the description so you can check but yeah i would suggest one if you are clear with the approach so do implement uh, uh, by your own but still if you get stuck somewhere so you can check the code that is in the description thank you so much for watching everyone Bye bye